Welcome back, I'm Lorenzo, and today I wanna to talk about why you hate your summer wardrobe. I get really differing opinions about who loves dressing for summer and who hates it, and I feel like I've found a lot of the reason people hate it are because they didn't quite put enough thought into what they were doing for summer. Or there are people who hate being hot, so there's a lot of factors in there, but I, I tend to find that the people who don't like being hot, don't put a lot of thought into what they're wearing, just kind of struggle through summer, don't like their wardrobes. And I think if they did like their wardrobes, they could really make summertime more pleasant for them. So the first reason you might hate your summer wardrobe is because you never invested the time into building it. I think a lot of people have this problem where each summer they might go and just buy something off the rack that they think will solve their problem. Like, oh, I need a dress, I'll just go get this dress, whatever they have. I need shorts, I'll order some shorts that are cheap and they look fine. But then those items don't actually go with the rest of their wardrobe or even their normal style. Like some people will have a style that they have that works great in fall and winter time, but then their spring summer style doesn't match that. So the clothes don't really mix. You can't use a lot of them together. So I think something really helpful for this is to do a clothing audit, find out all the items of clothes you actually have, and then kind of build a dream summer wardrobe out of that. I think Pinterest is really good for that. You can see all the different items you would need to have a normal summer wardrobe and just start thinking about those things and maybe slowly adding pieces to round off a summer wardrobe that makes sense and actually goes with the rest of your style for the rest of the year. It's a process, but it's something that I think is definitely worth it to feel put together and happy. <laughs> even on those super hot days. The next reason you might hate your wardrobe is because all your clothes are made of the wrong fabric. Maybe you have a bunch of polyester blouses and dresses, or you got stretchy fabrics to try to be more comfortable in the summertime, or you think you need a pair of denim shorts, which I absolutely hate denim shorts in the summertime when it's so hot. Like that is the last thing I wanna wear. Yeah, it's super cute and there's tons of outfits you can make with denim shorts because you know, they're just essentially jeans that are shorter. But I don't want a thick restrictive fabric on my lower half or honestly anywhere in the summertime when I'm just sweating outside. So start looking at labels when you're buying things of what they're made of. You're not gonna want anything that's made of any kind of polyester, plastic, acetate. And there's so many items for sale that are made of those materials. So sometimes it can be kind of hard to find the right material. But I promise if you take the time to find a cotton dress, a linen dress, even a silk dress or, you know, shirts, pants of those kinds of materials, you're going to feel a lot better. I find those cheaper materials um, don't last as long as other things in your wardrobe and they make you sweat even more. So I would really steer clear of those materials. The next reason you might hate your summer wardrobe is because all your clothes are too form-fitting. Styles that you might feel comfortable in in the fall and winter are not necessarily the same styles that you're gonna wanna wear in the summertime. I've had really cute dresses and tops that are made of breathable materials like linen and cotton, and yet I don't want to wear them in the summertime and it took a while for me to figure out why. And the reason was because they were so form fitted that even though they were a breathable material, it still was so close to my skin that I just was sweating through everything and just felt so hot and just uncomfortable and like my body couldn't really move around. Those same things I feel absolutely comfortable wearing in the fall and winter. It's just with the additional heat that form-fitted clothes, I think, are a lot harder to wear. So instead, try out some looser silhouettes. I love an oversized linen shirt. Some wide leg pants are great options. Caftan-like dresses that are kind of more of an A-line. Don't hug your waist necessarily. There's a lot of different loose silhouettes that I think look really chic and just feel a lot better than something like a bodycon or a really tight blouse that you would feel comfortable wearing in the colder months. The next reason your summer wardrobe sucks is because you've only bought trend pieces. 
I find summer to be a really dangerous time for trendy items because a lot of people like wearing more color or are more daring in the silhouettes that they wear in the summer because they don't really have to worry as much about bras or undergarments or just staying warm. So it's really easy to be swayed by a lime green bodycon dress with cutouts because it's fun and it's summery and it's festive. And while it might be super cute and something you think is cool, maybe it doesn't match your lifestyle. Maybe it doesn't match your comfortability in different silhouettes. Maybe it doesn't match your actual style. So you can end up with a lot of disconjoined pieces that don't follow a consistent color palette and don't even follow a consistent style narrative. And not only that, they usually go out of style year to year. So you want to keep buying new trend items for the summertime. So instead of doing that, this kind of goes hand in hand in investing time to building your wardrobe, but look for more classic pieces. You're never going to go wrong with like a button up, a maxi or midi length skirt, you know, tailored shorts or tailored trousers in the linen. Also consider buying neutrals in those different shapes. And then once you feel comfortable with your neutral wardrobe, then you can add in the fun color that you really want. Instead of buying a full outfit in lime green, try buying just a purse or a hat or whatever your accessory of choice is. Another reason you might dread wearing your summer clothes is because you're uncomfortable showing parts of your body. Everyone has their insecurities and some people just prefer to be more covered up and I think that can be really challenging if that's you and it's the summer months because either you're going to be sweltering or you're going to be wearing clothes that you feel very uncomfortable in. So I think how I would navigate that is to make sure I have pieces in breathable fabrics like I've already said but you can absolutely just wear linen trousers or cotton trousers all summer. You're not required to buy shorts or buy short dresses or short skirts. You're also not required to wear tank tops or t-shirts. You can wear long sleeve linen tops. You can wear long sleeve cotton or silk tops. Staying in a color palette that is lighter like whites, yellows, pinks, those kinds of colors absorb less heat from sunlight. So are then going to be cooler on your body even if they are in more modest silhouettes. I think it's really important to dress to what makes you feel comfortable in your body. There is no right way to do a summer wardrobe. So the key is finding pieces that are breathable and lighter color palettes that still allow you to stay cool, but allow you to cover up the parts of your body you don't want to show. The last reason I think you might hate your summer wardrobe is because you don't have the right footwear. Summer shoes were really hard for me to find. When I was younger, it was hard for me to buy summer shoes that I would actually have the following year and use. A lot of times it was buying those cheap dollar flip-flops from Old Navy year to year, buying plastic shoes like, you know, jelly shoes or just faux leather shoes, or buying cute sandals that had a heel and were fun and flirty, but oh my gosh, they were horribly uncomfortable. Summer fashion, for some reason, feels more disposable to me than winter and fall. So I always used to buy cheap shoes for summertime because you could just wear flip-flops all summer if you wanted to. And hey, zero hate against flip-flops. They have their place in time. But I think it's important to have nice quality shoes for the summertime that you can wear year to year with a plethora of different outfits. I always like to have a leather sandal either in a slight wedge or slight heel. I think that is really versatile. You can wear it casual and more formal. I think also having a sandal that you know you can walk for miles in is really important. And then finally, investing in a nice sneaker. I prefer white, but you can do any color you want. All of those shoes, I think, make a perfect summer shoe wardrobe and kind of cover all the bases. When your feet hurt, have blisters, you know, the sun really amplifies a lot of sweaty feet and then rubbing issues. You just feel like crap. And even if you have a cute outfit on, if your feet hurt, you're, you're not going to feel good. So investing in at least one comfortable quality pair 
of sandals is really important to keep your outfits looking good, but also feeling good. I hope some of this was helpful for you when building your summer wardrobe, and maybe you'll keep this in mind on your next shopping trip. Let me know if you have any insights into what makes a good summer wardrobe and what's worked for you. I love hearing from other people and their perspectives. Everyone's different, so there's no prescription for a fabulous summer wardrobe that works for everyone. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I make videos every week about style, fashion, thrifting, all that good stuff. So if that's your jam, stick around. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will see you next week with another video. Cheers!